years of treatment of really and a lot of unknown. A little girl is starting the fight of her life. Um, they came back with the, like a high 90s percentage. I believe it was 98 percent of her bones were filled with leukemia. Now her two parents who put on a badge and serve our community every day are on the receiving end for the first time. We were coming to support our family, but then in the process, we saw a whole lot of other families in the community that their needs weren't getting met. NBC2 Samantha Serban explains how one girl's fight is now an effort to support all Southwest Florida families who have a child battling cancer. No, I want to see your dad. She's two years old and cute as a button. Hayden's pink glasses mask the eyes parents Kelsey and Nick adore. She's always the happy-go-lucky, outgoing, happy, happy kid. Um, so to see her like this, since the steroids have changed her quite a bit, it's, um, it's different. What color are your glasses? Pink. No, they're not pink. This is exactly what the steroids do. It comes in waves. She's happy. She's sad. She's hungry. She's thirsty. All the time. <laughs> all the time. Last month, this family had their lives flipped upside down after a simple doctor's appointment ended with a devastating diagnosis. So Tuesday morning, first thing in the morning, they did a bone marrow scrape where they went in and scraped to see how much leukemia was in her bones. So I believe it was 98% of her bones were filled with leukemia. Cancer. It's a word these Cape Coral cops had no personal experience with, but luckily they aren't alone. After years of serving their community, that same community is now serving them. We were in awe, that's for sure. You don't ever expect anything in return for doing that. You just do it because it's what you do. Whatever this family needed, folks were doing it. Even making bracelets and bringing a little joy in the form of music. When KPD heard about Hayden's diagnosis, they immediately started thinking, what can we do to help? So they put together this Her Fight is Our Fight campaign, bringing brand new toys to all the kids fighting cancer at Galasano. And we're going big. If we have to get a pickup truck or um, a U-Haul or something like that to take all the toys over, we would love to do that. Be it a stuffed animal or crayons, mom and dad say every donation really does make a difference, not just for Hayden, but for other sick kids too. So being able to um, kind of have this platform to ask the community for their support, I think is going to be huge for a lot of these kids. Huge is underselling it. Hayden needs the support because she can't do the things other kids can. She can't go to any public parks, no public pools. No, she can't be around any kids that are in daycare. We basically have to keep her in a bubble for the next two and a half years. But what she can do is have a little fun. Something to take her mind off the fight of her life. The nurses come in and they bring her different activities that are donated toys and, you know, the Play-Doh and she gets stamps and it's something for her to do that keeps her occupied while she's stuck in that bed for as many hours as she is. I'm local in Cape Coral. She's a trooper. Samantha Serban, NBC2.